To all my fellow empowered individuals, holy spirited individuals, this is Yvonne. And I just want to say I believe in the grace, the redemption, and the restoration of our Lord Jesus Christ and the promises of his salvation, the promises of him restoring us double fold as in the time of the prophet Joel when he prophesied that everything that you went through, everything that the locust devoured shall be restored to you double fold. Everything that we're going through will empower us to believe again, to be close to the Lord, to know that we are here to continue the ministry of signs, wonders, and miracles of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are a church separated for the holiness of God by the blood of Jesus Christ. We're in a process of sanctification. That means every day is a new day, and God is helping us in this walk. Nobody is perfect. All of us have different warfare that we're dealing with, but we're here to glorify the King, to let the world know that I was a sinner. I was a sinful woman, and God brought me to his real light, to the truth of Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 6, promises of deliverance. This is for you, my brother and my sister. Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh, the Lord told Moses. When he feels my powerful hand upon him, he will let the people go. In fact, he will be so anxious to get rid of them that he will force them to leave his land. And God continued, I am the Lord. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. Though I did not reveal my name, the Lord, to them, and I entered into a solemn covenant with them. Under its terms, I swore to give to them the land of Canaan, where they were living. You can be sure that I have heard the groans of the people of Israel, who are now slaves to the Egyptians. I have remembered my covenant with them. Therefore say to the Israelites, Israelites, that is you, that is I, I am the Lord and I will free you. I will free you from your slavery in Egypt. I will redeem you with my mighty power and great acts of judgment. I will redeem you and with my mighty power and great acts of judgments, I will make you my own special people. I will be your God and you will know that I am the Lord your God who has rescued you from your slavery in Egypt. Every few hundreds of years, we see a great act, a great miracle upon the earth. Like in the time of Moses, the time of Elijah, remember the prophet Elijah? These are big acts that impacted a multitude of people because they couldn't believe. They always knew about their God that did great feats and great miracles and great deliverances and had mercy. But every few hundred years, people started seeing less and less of these great feats and they just, it just became accustomed to, to praise God, but not to see these miracles. And I believe we are, the last few years, we have been being prepared by the Most High God again to be empowered. And I do believe he is lifting up prophets, evangelists all over this world, in prisons, out here in the wilderness, my friends. He is preparing us. He is allowing you to experience in that pain and injustice, that social injustice. He is allowing you to see that true justice is not by works, it is by faith in God. True justice was the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. Do you believe that the power of the blood of Jesus is powerful enough to redeem your sins of yesterday, your present sin and your future sin? If we repent and we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, He shall forgive us. Every single day is a new battle. We won't win all battles, but God has won the war. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, so that we may hold and carry the Holy Spirit within us. Every single day, every single one of your victories is a victory for all the body of Christ. There is no separation. There should be no war between us. There should be no contention. The times are accelerated. And I believe in a God of signs, wonders, and miracles, of healing, of deliverance working through your life. You are the light in your community. You are the light within the people. It is time for us not just to have little sparks of revivalment, but this revivalment, this fire that will last years and years to bring people to Jesus Christ, to save them, seal them with the Holy Spirit, to give us the strength, the courage that we need to live through these perilous times, to, through these unprecedented times that are coming, that we're actually living. Do not fear. This is not about being right or wrong. This is about receiving Jesus Christ, believing in the King, rejoicing in His promise. Testify 
of the blood of Jesus. Testify of his death and resurrection. Let them know what God has done for you. For you personally, he gave up everything to save you. He moved heaven and earth to save you. And he'll do it again for anyone who is truly calling out to him now. As he did with the Israelites. He says, I am the Lord your God who has rescued you from your slavery in Egypt. Pharaoh will be used so that we can see the glory of redemption in our lives. If there is a Pharaoh spirit, somebody trying to control your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, what you're doing wrong, if you're good enough, not good enough, checking all these things on the list, presenting it to God on the throne, you need to say, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am redeemed, Satan. It is written, thou shall not tempt the Lord your God. Hallelujah. When he asks you to do those miracles, to turn those stones into bread, thou shall not live by bread alone. We are not here just to live, to eat. We are being fed on the Holy Spirit. It is God who is sustaining us. God bless you all. I love you. And I hope this message touches you. The King of Kings is close. Our redemption is near. Look up to the sky. Look up. When I point up, look up to the sky, my brothers and sisters. Jesus is coming for us. All right. Redemption is near, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's later on, or whether it's in 10 years, Jesus is coming for us to redeem us, to deliver us into his eternal salvation. But we will see the empowerment and the glory of God here. All eyes will see and all ears will hear, hallelujah, of the salvation of Jesus Christ.